Hey guys, welcome back. Got some more Persona 4. Uh, I managed to fix that uh, glitch, I guess you could call it, by... Well, I just spawned it in. I'm not even gonna act like I didn't. It is a guy-only outfit, though, so that's too bad. We couldn't put it on now, so... That's okay, though, because putting it on myself would be nice anyway, because if I take a look at my SP... My SP now should be... Uh, should be pretty good. Should be, like, um... I'm not sure if it actually takes into, a, takes into account how much SP you have right now. Yeah, 427 SP, so that's pretty... That, that's a decent amount. Uh, if anything, my health is gonna be the bad part, but... I think it should be fun anyway. Let's uh, go to bed, because we got the ski trip tomorrow. First time snowboarding? Just gotta keep your balance, right? Whoa! <laughs> Senpai! You're too fast! <laughs> you gotta open up your stance, do you get it? Come on! It's... it's easier said than... Huh? Rad in the kisser. Rad in the kisser. You know, I think I'll be using that cutscene when we talk about the canonical waifu thing, because... Come on, there's too many... It's pointing towards one direction way too much. Whew. We've been down this slope a bunch of times now. I also do like that they, uh, they kept some uh, Persona 3 music inside there at the very beginning of the cutscene. I like that. I like that. Hey, what do you think of my snowboarding skills? I bet you're head over heels with them. Well, yeah, but only because we were falling down all the time. Teddy kept crashing into me. It's not fair that Kanji gets to keep skiing with Nao-chan. I'm completely against one-on-one -on -one personal lessons. So you were doing it on purpose, you bastard! You guys are completely ignoring my lines, huh? So this was your first time skiing, Nao-chan? How was it? I can barely even stand upright. Kanji-kun is teaching me, but... It's not going as I'd hoped. I keep going in the wrong direction or falling over without warning. I hope I do a little better tomorrow. You don't look it, but you really don't like losing, do you? Should we go up one more time? What? I'm too tired. My legs are giving out on me. Also, I, I talked about this last time, but the no helmet thing, that's so cringe. Like, I'm sorry, but that is so fucking cringe. You gotta put one on there, baby. Doesn't matter too. how cool you look. I feel like Frosty the Snow Bear. We've got tomorrow too, so let's call it a day. Aren't you hungry, Chie? I didn't even notice it until now. I'm super hungry. What are we having for dinner at the lodge? I think soul cooked in non-regional style. That non-regional part caught my attention. So, it's a non-style style? What is that supposed to taste like? I think you would only call it something like that if you weren't all that confident about your food. I doubt the chefs would appreciate hearing that from you guys. That's so mean! I remember you yelling about how delicious that cake we made was. 
I wasn't yelling. And that cake was only good because Naoto helped you. That's not true. It was thanks to the cookbook. I don't care which it was. And you guys should have been using a cookbook in the first place. There's something more important at hand right now. Soul is a fish, right? What about some real meat? Meat! How much of a carnivore are you? Uh, fish is carnivore too. Well, I guess that's more like pescatarian, but no. Carnivore is still... Carnivore is still eating fish. I don't think I saw any real meat dishes on the menu. No beef? Or pork? Or even chicken? She's got a point. And considering how much we've been skiing, I could use something with a lot of protein. Meat. Has the day finally come that you all want a little taste of Teddy? No, we'd never do that. Bear meat is pretty gamey after all. You're so cruel, Yuki-chan! Spooky story time. How did you manage to rent this whole lodge out? No wonder we're only here for one night. That's all you could afford. Is Teddy still in the bathhouse? We saw these college girls while we were having dinner. He said he was going to hold out in the bath until they showed up. Sheesh, what's he up to now? You say that, but I bet you wish you were there with him right now, don't you? What? That's the worst. Wouldn't you rather spend time with us? I mean, me, rather than people like that, senpai? Dude, how awesome is it that we all get to stay overnight like this? And it's co-ed! So, why don't we... No. But I didn't suggest anything yet! Sorry, were you gonna say play cards? No. <laughs> why don't we go night skiing? I've always been impressed by people who can do that. Then we'd have to take another bath afterwards. Honestly, I'm already exhausted from snowboarding all day. Then, why don't we do what people usually do when they get together at night? Tell ghost stories! I don't know. Isn't that usually a summer thing? Yeah, um, I think I'll have to disagree too. Burk, 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 burk. Get a bunch of chickens. Huh? Get a Could bunch of chickens in here. Of ghost stories? Stuff like in those stories actually happens in the mountains. That one time during shooting was enough for me. What? Stop it! Oh, our inn has a lot of spooky stuff, too. Once, we asked a customer how he liked his room, and he said the restroom was too dark. But his room didn't have one. And sometimes when you take pictures in that room during Obon, they don't come out right. Whoa. That's pretty creepy. Oh, and I heard that Haniwa are occasionally found in the mountains around here. They say this entire area could have been a grave site long ago. Folklore has little valid scientific evidence, but is a result of cultural significance and strong story elements. F -f 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 folklore? F -f 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 yeah, you guys ever wonder, you really think that all these stories were just made up straight up? Because, uh, I think now it's on to something. I think there may be some relevance to, uh, some of these tales we get told. Folklore. Folklore. F -f -f folklore Any ancient burial ground is likely just the site of a t t temple. So, um... Uh, any uh, a ancient burial ground is likely just the site of the temple. So, um... You're scared too? Scaredy cat. Yes. This is starting to get pretty good. How are you in scary stories? Oh, so you got any special stories of your own up your sleeve? I can't believe you guys! I'm having no part of this! I'm bugging my ears! Would it be scarier to only hear bits and pieces of stories like that? Shut up, Moranji! Why are you pushing so hard for us to tell ghost stories? You stop calling me that, damn it! Yeah, stop calling him that, stupe. Ace Detective Stupe. Well, I'll start off then. Yukiko can go last. Her stories are off the charts, creepy. Let's see. It was over three years ago. 
A friend of mine in middle school told me this. It seems his sister went to a pretty prestigious private school, but she ended up running with the wrong crowd. Hmm, where does this sound familiar? Hmm. Uh huh, Fuka. Supposedly, she and a bunch of other girls were bullying another girl in their class. He said that she'd come home every night and laugh over the phone with her friends about the kid they were harassing. One day, she suddenly came home with a pale face. Ever since then, she started locking herself up in her room. No matter how much he asked what was going on, she'd completely ignore him. But he could hear her mumbling. She'd keep saying to herself, It's my turn next. My friend got worried, so he went to ask his sister's friends what was going on. But it turns out, all her friends had passed out for mysterious reasons and had been taken to the hospital. He was so scared that he didn't know what to do. That night, at around 11.30, suddenly his sister started screaming in her room. He ran into her room, and she was covering her ears and repeating, She's calling me! I can hear her! But my friend couldn't hear anything, and soon, his sister rushed out of the house. The next morning, she was found unconscious outside the school gates, just like her friends had been. In the end, she was taken to the hospital and recovered. But when he asked the people at school what happened, it seems the girl they were bullying was dead. They said that the girl must have become a spirit that haunted them one by one. Ah! Oh! <laughs> That's impossible. Your story is full of inconsistencies. Wait. But I think I've actually read a police report like that. That's not denying it. You're supporting it. Wait, did she die? Well, I think she turned up okay. Well, that doesn't matter. That wasn't bad for a leadoff, right? Well, you're next. What do you have in mind? You're gonna do this too, Senpai? You meanie. Meanie Bobini. You're gonna do this too, Senpai? You meanie. It sounds realistic when you tell it. So? So? And then? No, no, you can't stop after coming this far. <laughs> uh. something I heard something just now that was unusual it, it's just our imaginations what are you talking about we all imagine the noise anyway, yeah definitely going. you can't just end it here that'd be even scarier huh wait are you talking about ah! uh, uh, blackout oh shit something just went past me Where's the switch? Nom 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 nom. How dare you to think you're eating all the snacks while I'm gone? I'm gonna curse you. Get him? Yeah, let's finish him off. I'm sorry, Teddy. Only people have human rights. <laughs> <laughs> oh no, Teddy. What? Babes! What's come over you? Only people have human rights. Why are you so mad at me? So it was Teddy. Damn it, he freaked us all out. And, and, what happened after that? Time to hit the snow! Someone's full of energy. You guys were up talking all last night, too. How do you know about that? Don't tell me. It's no surprise that they heard you, considering how loud you were. I told you over and over, the walls were thin. 
Uh, oh, so that's all. I thought he might have been peeping. We were talking about some pretty risque stuff in there. Sorry, Kanji. Did you get a nosebleed all over your pillow? Shut up. Who'd want to listen to you hens clucking all night anyway? I think I would. Just a little. I may have done a little listening. I heard things about Nao-chan's size and Yuki-chan's shape. Stop lying, Ted! We didn't talk about anything like that! Wait, what about my shape? Have I changed somehow? You're letting him get to you. You're being manipulated. Jeez, forget about it. Let's just enjoy our day skiing. Let's go, senpai! Hold it right there. Rise-san, don't you think you're being a little too... You know, you've been hogging the same ski partner way too much? Huh? But it works out so nicely. Yeah, yeah, it works out so great. Everybody's so happy about it. You and Yosuke-senpai are both on snowboards. Teddy and Yukiko-senpai keep taking the steep slopes and won't slow down for me. And Kanji seems to want to be with Naoto-kun. Hey, what are you getting at? Yeah, what are you getting at with that canon, that canon statements? So, it's only natural that I'd pair up with Senpai yesterday. He and I will take it slow. You don't have to worry about me. Come on, Senpai! Let's go! Our logic is 100% ironclad! Showbiz people have amazing ways of persuading people. Why are you impressed? Ahem. <clears throat> The, the reason we're on this trip is for all of us to make some good memories of spending time with Senpai. In other words, we should all be trying to have some skiing time with him. Crap, you're right. You're right! I, I want to make memories with Senpai too! Sometimes when you say things, I wonder if you have some hidden agenda behind them. Th then I'm not snowboarding today. I'm switching to skis. Hey, that's no fair. I want to leave my ski tracks of love with Sensei, too! Um, hey! Why don't we let Senpai decide for himself? Be honest and just make the call. <laughs> okay, well... Whoa, wait a sec, everyone! Yeah, I think you're putting a little bit too much effort like on where me. This is headed. Some of you sound like you're out for blood! Let's all enjoy the slopes together, okay? Th that would be best. I concur. <sighs> Thanks for not answering before I could get that under control. Jealous? Ah, damn it! <laughs> I shouldn't have spoken up for you! Am I jealous? <laughs> of course I am, damn it! Oh, it's too good. <sighs> well, let's go enjoy oh, the Oh, it's slopes. too good. I say that one every time. <laughs> Oh man, but uh, we will pick Naoto. We're gonna pick Naoto because uh, first time I picked Risa, second time I picked the guys. So it'll be fun to do Naoto this time. I'm kind of surprised. I didn't think there was anything he weren't good at, Naoto-kun. How's it going? Do you think you're ready to start going for real? No, not at all. Quit freaking out about it. Open up your legs and point your toes in, or else you're gonna speed up. Come on, keep your balance with your knees. B but if I stand with my feet further apart, I I'll fall down for sure. Like I keep saying, you'll be fine. Even if you do slide down, I'll catch you. You know, the thing is with skiing, and I, I listen, I actually have skied a lot, is that if you're scared, it's really bad. If you're scared to ski, then it's really, really bad because, you know, it's kind of like, it's kind of like driving on the highway. If you slow down abruptly, you're just going to get hurt. It's, it's the same way on the ski hill. Not even kidding you're you. You're so nice, Kanji. You never said anything like that to me. I already know how to ski. I don't have to teach you. Well, if I ever do need someone to teach me, I definitely want someone nice like Senpai to do it. Right, Senpai? They're doing that today, too? It's more like falling than skiing. Maybe they just don't know how to stop? Well, they ain't dead yet, so I guess they can stop somehow. <laughs> That's not fun, by the way. That type of skiing is not fun. The whole, like, just go down as fast as you can without doing any turns. It's like... Okay, first of all, you're just asking for an accident, but it's also not fun. Ah, it's Chie-senpai and Yosuke-senpai. Yoo-hoo! Who's 
two are looking good. I'm so jealous that they can snowboard. People who are good at it can look so cool. But I'm definitely more into skiing with you right now, Senpai. Yeah, skiing's better than snowboarding. Sorry. Ski I chads. Feel bad that we're in other Ski chads ways. rise up. So shall we get going? Please, wait. Can you stay with me until I reach the bottom? I have no idea which way I'll end up going. Okay, last one there's a rotten egg. See you at the bottom. Wait, weren't you listening? I can't turn or stop. Don't worry, someone's going to be there to catch you. Right, Kanji? Huh? That's what... Uh, right! Whoa, what are you getting so fired up about? I don't really see why you're so intense about this. If you're gonna catch me, then I'm gonna jump right into your arms. Um, I can trust you then? Well, I'll be counting on you. Jeez, you're too nervous now, Tokun. You just need to ski straight. What the hell's he doing now? He's not even wearing skis! I think I'm going to walk. Uh-huh, okay, so last time we asked the guys, and then the first time we asked Rize, so this time we're gonna ask Nato. I think asking Nato would be fun, because you get a you get a unique uh you get a unique cutscene and cinematic and everything. Which I haven't seen, I haven't seen all of them. My legs are more tired than I thought. I thought I'd have learned to not fall down anymore. But I must be tensing my legs too much. I'm sorry, you must hate having a total beginner holding you back like this. I've always been able to pick up new skills when they become necessary, but I've never had to ski before. Murder mysteries may take place in snowy mountain retreats and novels, but it's not that often in real life. Cutting a telephone line in a mountain cottage during a blizzard is obviously suicidal too. I wonder how long it's been since I last tried so hard to just have fun. I used to think that these frivolities were a waste of time. That they wouldn't make me any better of a person. <laughs> Though thinking back on it, I have to laugh. I was all alone then. I want to come back here again. Yes, definitely. We don't just have to go skiing, though. I'd go anywhere with this group of friends. Oh, yes, you said that you all went to the beach during the summer. Please invite me along next time. <sighs> oh, but then again, I'd have to wear a swimsuit. Um. Um. <laughs> shall we start heading back? <laughs> the snow's starting to fall quite Nosebleed, heavily. nosebleed, nosebleed. Which way should we be headed to get back to the lodge? Um, left. Oh, well... I thought I was simply following you today, so I wasn't checking on our course. You don't sound very confident. But then again, I'm sure we'll get somewhere as long as we stick to the ski course. We should leave soon then. I can't go very fast, after all. Um, is this really the right way? It's not that I don't believe you, but I feel that we've already been past this area. Could it be that we're lost? I don't want to admit it, though. This is a problem. This snow could be concealing small rivers or cliffs beneath us. I don't think we should be walking around aimlessly. Actually, I'm reaching my limits. It's impossible. The snow's too soft. It needs to at least set for a night. Uh, huh? Look! Is 
Isn't that a cottage? Thank goodness. Even if that place is empty, there should be things there. We may be able to get ourselves warm. Let's go check it out. Excuse me, is anyone here? Mm. Huh? It was unlocked. I wonder why, though. Some places don't use padlocks because they've been known to freeze shut in extreme conditions. Let's just consider ourselves lucky for now. That's yeah, not creepy at all. What are you talking about? It's very, um... <laughs> it looks anxious. I wonder why. Maybe because it's a cabin in the woods? About it not being locked? True, that does sometimes lead to crime or assaults, but we should be alright. I don't suspect anyone is here. If there was, it would be warmer in here. Um, do you happen to have your cell phone? I tried making numerous calls while we were lost, and my phone's battery has run out. This is a problem. Could all the snow be disrupting the signal? The blizzard isn't calming down either. I doubt it will last long, considering the weather here in the mountains. But this still isn't good. We may be indoors, but the cold is a very real threat. <sighs> b by the way, um, warming each other with our bodies would be ineffective in our case. That only works when your clothes are wet. Or one person's body temperature has been significantly lowered. Uh... Right. No one asked for details. Sorry. <laughs> so cute. But on a more serious note, we do need to find a way to warm ourselves, or we'll be in trouble. Ah, upon closer inspection, this sunken hearth uses charcoal and not firewood. Thank goodness. If we can get some ventilation in this room, we'll be able to use this. Now we need something to start a fire, but a place like this should have some tools available. <sighs> it seems we won't have to worry for the time being. Ah, Prometheus, thank you for fire. Huh? Oh, yeah. This is, well... A more effective way to get warm. I thought you said that body body heat wasn't we can't effective. Let any last bit of heat go to waste, after all. <laughs> Where could we be? I thought that we'd been walking towards the lodge. Even once the blizzard settles, it's risky to walk around in the mountains at night. It seems we have no choice but to stay here. Hmm. <laughs> Strange. We're in quite a pinch. But some part of me is actually enjoying this. All alone with another, stuck in a mountain cottage for an entire night. <laughs> Yikes. I think this feeling is referred to as the suspension bridge effect. Senpai? Um. Yes, yes. Shut up, TV. That turned on right now, correct? Fuck off, Margaret. Why? This was not the time. Just give me like five more minutes. Huh? Oh. Thank you. Wait, no, I'll go too. We need to find out what happened. Whoa, Senpai? What are you doing? That... You should stop doing that. I, I mean, this is hardly an ideal location to be trying this. Stop! Before you go too deep! Okay! We get it, Atlas. You're fucking funny. You're so funny with this fanfic. This isn't that kind of mystery, Detective Prince! Stop! It's just an incredibly romantic situation up on a ski trip! Don't give in! Everyone! They're still dressed! Why would they take off their clothes in this freezing weather? And dude, why are you guys so flustered? What is up with you guys? Are you really asking that, Kanji-kun? 
Now, John, were you waiting for an audience? <laughs> <laughs> Shameless. You don't have to prove yourself to anyone. But okay, I'll take a front row seat and... I, I'm having a hard time understanding what you're trying to get at. You came to rescue us, correct? Actually, since when were you all outside? Don't tell me you've been here the entire time. No, I mean, not on purpose. It would have been awkward to interrupt before, but... So, you're saying that you were spying on us. Hey, we came because we were worried about you. More to the point, what are the two of you doing in here? We needed to examine this TV here in greater detail. The TV? Why? It's not plugged in. Come on, guys. Don't try that lame excuse on us. That is not an excuse. It's the truth. Senpai attempted to go inside the television and... Why are you looking at me like that? Ba 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 yeah, doesn't look so very good, does lost, it? Found this building, and then things started heating up. You obviously aren't listening to what we're trying to tell you. The TV turned itself on even though it isn't plugged in. Since the Midnight Channel is no more, we need to investigate. There's no way we'd risk ourselves to come to this stupid little shack just out of some impure motives. But this building is right behind the lodge, though. We were told that it's a storage shed. They don't lock it because workers come here often during the day. And it's not like there's a blizzard or anything. Maybe you just saw a reflection from the ski lights or something. That's impossible. Then again, I don't think Naoto-kun would lie about something like this. And since we're all here, we might as well check out this TV. Hey, wait a sec. My. <laughs> Excuse me. Please forgive the slightly impolite invitation. Whoa. She's beautiful. True. Now Very the true. Time for gawking, I think she's the one who grabbed me. Well, that could be you could who be grabbed by worse. You know her? Sweetheart? Dude, she is a real woman. Where the hell did you meet her? Forgive me for not introducing myself sooner. We meet for the first time. My name is Margaret. I am a helper on this young man's journey. I meant you no harm. Um, well, can we trust her? I see. Do you remember? I have come to fulfill my promise. Yes, I have come to guide you. I apologize for the amount of time it required me to prepare. This is the Hollow Forest, the closed realm, created by her in the TV world, the world of the human mind. It would seem that after Marie left us, she shut herself in here. I do not know everything, but as you know, she was searching for her memory, and by opening her heart to you, 
she finally regained that memory. It would seem that what she found was not what she had been hoping for. Whoa, hold on. What is this all about? Marie? You mean Marie-chan? The one who was with you? I remember her! That fashionable girl with the hat, right? Yeah, yeah. I mean, I hope you remember her. You guys hung out with her like... Well, like 50 times at least. What do you mean she's here? And what was that about her memory? Emmy-chan has amnesia? We are inside the TV right now, correct? A missing person ending up in the TV. Don't tell me. I mean, we put an end to all that. I do not think this is the same situation. I believe Marie's disappearance is unrelated to the kidnapping incident you all were following. She was not taken away by someone. Rather, she came here of her own volition. She willingly came here. Does that mean Marie-san has the Persona ability as well? No, Marie is originally a resident of this side. What kind of girl were you showing around town? Hold on, this is inside the TV, right? Then, aren't there shadows in here? You're kidding me. That means... He's right. If she were to be attacked by shadows... I will not say that she is not in danger. However, the same goes for you. If you are to proceed ahead in search for Marie, you must have adequate resolution. The path ahead will be relentless. You alone will not be able to reach her. If you wish to see her again, then it is my role to help you. And to do so, I decided to invite everyone who has accompanied you on your journey here. I see. I was wondering why you didn't bring just our leader here. Now I understand. You're giving us all the information and letting us choose what to do from here. You exactly. One more thing. Well, this isn't going to affect whether or not I plan to help, but you are also like Marie-san, a resident of this side. The human mind contains more than shadows. I believe you all witnessed that in your last battle. Are you talking about those things that came out of Namatame and Adachi-san? Well, they were different from the shadows we know about. It does not matter how you choose to interpret it. What you see and what you believe are up to you. I know that you can supply yourselves with answers, as I know that you have been capable of coming this far. One more thing. As I just said, the Hollow Forest was originally a closed realm. It is not the case now, but in time, this place will seal itself again. In other words, we can't come in and out of here forever? Exactly. It would seem that little time remains before the Hollow Forest completes itself. Once that time has passed, this place will be closed forever, and you will never be able to visit here again. If that happens, Marie's existence will be entirely expunged from your memories. We'll lose our memories? What the hell are you talking about? Oh, she's just gonna up and vanish from our heads? It is exactly as I said. The closing of this forest marks the fact of Marie's erasure. Any memories you have of Marie will disappear, and you will return to your peaceful days. No! This doesn't make sense! I merely have come to fulfill my promise. What you do is up to you. I have made a link from the television in the mountain cabin to this world. 
that is the only conduit through which you may reach this place. Huh? So we can't get here through the TV and Juness? Exactly. This world and your world's screens are linked, place to place. It is a fact. Hmm. I can't smell the other places from here. It really isn't connected. I am repeating myself, but it was Marie who shut herself in this world. There is no need for you to think that you must risk your lives for her. I am sure she would not wish that either. Please, treasure the normal lives you have. That is what Marie would want. Now, if you would excuse me. Hey, hey wait! Uh, please? It's a TV. The same type as the one in the cabin. This must be the exit, like the ones Teddy has. What else? That Marie chick is in here, right? If she's in danger of being attacked by shadows, then we've got to get in there and find her. Hold on. It might not be that simple. Let us leave for now, at any rate. We cannot blindly run ahead so suddenly. Yeah. Plus, we're totally not prepared, right? If we're gonna do it, Let's get ready and take this on full force! Ow! Ugh, who was pushing me? <laughs> Oopsie. Shut it! There's eight of us and it's a tiny frickin' TV! Oh! I dented my head in. Anybody wanna touch it? Uh, no. What are you guys clowning around for? Come on, get up! We got a meeting to hold! We do? What are we gonna talk about? Oh, uh, I don't know. But we always have one, right? I guess she just wanted to be the one to say it. Yeah, it would really mess with my head if Chia Senpai was coming up with good plans. Shut up! That's rude, you know! Still, that was a surprise. You know that whole Marie being from the other side thing? Wait, so the TV world is the world of the human mind, huh? It's not really sinking in, though. I couldn't even tell. No, it couldn't have been helped. That sort of thing isn't something that can be easily explained to others. It would be like the first time I met all of you. The issue here is Marie-san's motive. Why would she risk her life to shut herself in a place like that? I could see it if she was thrown in like we were, but why would she do that to herself? Yeah, that blue chick did say Marie lost her memory. Maybe she remembered something that made her do that. Hey, I just thought of something. If the world she's in closes, she'll disappear from our memories, right? Isn't that the same as dying? What? Wait, you mean sh she's trying to? I don't know, but it just feels that way to me. She wants to kill herself and make us forget about her? She's erasing her own existence? I think Emi-chan's like me. I was really worried when I couldn't figure out who I was. When I finally found out I was a shadow, it was traumatizing. I don't think Emi-chan's a shadow, but I think she feels the same way I did. That she shouldn't exist. Teddy. Senpai, you're right. I can kind of understand how she feels. Not having anyone know the real you, being alone all the time. Even when someone's friendly to you, you feel like there's something wrong. If I didn't meet all of you, I might have thought the same as her. Same shit with me. I was always being misunderstood, so I toughened up and started biting back. 
They're scared that no one would accept the real me if I ever showed it to them. In the end, I couldn't even admit it when I was showing myself. Yeah, we're all like that. Everybody's suffering in some way. Yes, but we were able to change. No matter how much we hated ourselves, we were able to face it and accept it. Because we had dear friends. Yeah, I know now. There's nothing to be afraid of. We're the only ones that can save Marie-chan. If she's really thinking the same way we were, we have to go stop her. That's that, then. We should find out exactly what we're getting into first. It's better to know anything than to go in knowing nothing. It'll at least make things easier on us. We should devote a day to it. Teddy, Rise-san, can you scan that world? From the usual spot, of course. The rest of us should rest up to prepare for the exploration. If there are shadows in there, then we can't avoid fighting them. All right, let's do this! <laughs> oh, this takes me back. Even though it hasn't been that long since we finished the other stuff. Yeah, all right. It's super sniffy time together with Rise-chan. <laughs> My super ultra mega hyper uber teddy nose can pick up even the slightest scent. But this skill is not without its drawbacks. After three minutes, I get just an ungodly amount of snot. You! Hey, don't damage the bear before showtime. At least he's actually useful in a fight. Whoa, 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 careful. <laughs> My super ultra mega hyper uber teddy nose can pick up even the slightest scent. You! How rude. What do you mean, at least? Let's regroup at school, okay? Just when you thought it was over. <laughs> Just when you thought it was over. <laughs> XD, XD. That was a fun one though with Naoto. That was actually, yeah, that was, that was more interactive than I would have imagined. It's cold. Oh well, let's start the meeting. First, allow me to report. Just in case, I've checked for missing people in the local jurisdiction to see if anyone may have wandered in there. Zero results. There are no missing person requests, either. It seems that this place really doesn't have anything to do with our previous case. Hey, no fair! You said to rest, and yet you went and did research. But I went and checked the newspaper, too. I looked for any news of missing people, but there wasn't any. I also tried asking our suppliers and customers if there was anything going on, but there aren't any rumors. Ditto. I asked around at work, but didn't come up with anything. Can't underestimate the housewife network. Yeah, I tried talking with some former punks, but didn't get Jack. Considering that none of us could find evidence, perhaps it's safe to say that no one has wandered in accidentally. But more important is whatever Teddy and Rise-san found. How did your search go? I can feel that hollow forest really far away, but that's it. I couldn't sense Emi-chan's presence at all. That place, it's big. I'm glad we didn't just jump in there without making sure we were ready for it. The Hollow Forest, huh? Is that place also affected by the mind of the person inside? If that's the case, then did Marie-chan make that area? Hollow Forest. We heard that phrase before. In the last battle, right? I was wondering the same thing. Amano Sagiri mentioned it. The place that gave birth to those who answer the desires and wishes for lies of humans. Was that it? Hold on. Are you saying that the image in Marichan's mind is the same force that created that monster? What's going on here? The hell? Who is she exactly? Our objective is to save her, but it doesn't seem like things will end there. If she is related to those monsters, then we need to do more research. What is she trying to do? 
Who is she really? It seems we have no choice but to go see her and find the truth directly from her. Are you thinking that you're getting us involved in your personal problems? Nobody's thinking that, buddy. That's right! I'm burning up! Arrgh! Right, let's do it. We don't know what she's bummed about, but we'll save her. Wait a sec! If I come and save Emi-chan, that's like an arrow straight through the heart, right? What should I do? I'm not ready for this. Dude, I can't tell if you're being a creeper or not. <laughs> oh man, of course I always bring back the sad music for this shit, but uh... Yeah, so this uh, this dungeon is really not fun. I think it's like people's least favorite, and for good reason too, I would say. So we gotta get this done in one day. We gotta do it in one day. Um, yeah, let's just go in then. It is all cool. Right, let's brace ourselves. It is cool that we have like a new we have a new area and everything. This is obviously like it's all golden content, so it's gonna look kind of snazzy. It's gonna look a little bit better than uh, gonna lo look a little bit better than other ones. Yeah, sounds a little bit sad already. So we're gonna take uh, Natsu. What do you have to say, Rizzo? Hello, Foxy. Doing all right, buddy? All right, good. Snuff soul, nice. Thanks. Yeah, Honeywar, hon Honeywar, very creepy looking. Yeah, I know, man. Okay, I know. You want to help? I got it. I got it. I got it. And we'll have Teddy join us. Okay, so let's take a look at the outfits. Well, we'll look at the outfits. Oh, fuck. I hope the outfits don't get taken away. I'm gonna make my one save right here. Inside we go. Now, the music for this is, uh... I like it a lot, actually. It's... I like it. Bum -a bum Oh, my items are gone. Oh, no -y. Oh, no. My items. My items, my items. Yeah, so they take away all your items. Um, not your equipment, though. Yeah, just your items, so... That's okay, actually. I thought they took away your equipment, but... No! My default clothes, are you fucking kidding me? I wanted to show off the outfits, damn it. Wait a second, they did take away all the... They did take away all the items. Oh, shit. Well, that fucking sucks. God damn. That's very unfortunate. I like the design of this dungeon, though. Because it has all the... It has it has all Marie's memories and everything, and it has, uh... You see the Haniwa in the back and everything. I like it. I like it. Even though... Even though it's really, really annoying. Because you, you can't dodge shadows. These, uh, Makatsuhi, or whatever. Or the Matama. Uh, the Matama are pretty annoying to kill, actually, because you have to face them every time you decide to go through somewhere. The enemy's weak to darkness. It's doomed. It's doomed. Go, Yamato Samuragi! Oh, awesome. You never lose your cool. So I'm gonna show you what Shield of Justice does, because it is a it, it's a pretty cool skill, I would say. I can't lose here. You get uh, you get like your unique voice line and everything. It's pretty sick, pretty sick. It does cost a pretty penny though. It costs a lot of SP. And then I'll also show off uh Kamui Miracle. miracle. Watch out. All enemies are down. Woohoo! Yeah, we're not gonna do that. Now let's do the man's way. Better not fall for me. 
It's actually very good. It's actually very good. The um, it's nice that they added uh, unique voices and everything. Also, these enemies are not gonna die. So these enemies are not gonna die because they uh, we have no we have, we literally don't have any items. We don't have any good stuff. Fuck, man. That's that's the one thing. If they just didn't take away the items, this would be a lot better. It's the fact that you have the items, but you also have to face you also have to face the shadows just straight up, which is really annoying. Thor. Uh, like I said, we're gonna stick with these Nagi the rest of the game, so. Gonna stick with these Nagi the rest of the game, because I think that's the coolest thing to do. The shadows can attack you when you cut the rope here. Yeah, so every time you go through a door. Every time you go through a door. Oh my god, the SP thing, too. Fuck, that's so annoying. Yeah, so after every fight, you lose a bunch of SP. Oh my god, this dungeon is so terrible. I'm gonna return to the entrance for now, though. And uh, call this one quits, but hope you guys enjoyed it. Next time we'll go through the dungeon and hopefully, um, yeah. So we do have we do have my items this time. So next time we go next time we go inside the dungeon, we'll um, we'll be in a little bit better situation. Well, we won't be in a better situation, but I just kind of remind myself what happens. If I want to get my SP back, I'm probably just gonna lo load the file. Probably just gonna load the file, yeah, because I really can't be bothered to lose all that all that SP right away. That's going to be it for this one, though. So next time we'll go through and do the shebang and, uh, yeah, see how it goes. So, hope you guys enjoyed it.